everybody, and welcome back to Living Large Camping. After ah! only seven months, <laughs> apparently we're back in the snow. <laughs> we woke up to a complete winter wonderland. We're gonna show you guys a for and after because it is just wild what happened overnight, but it is kind of fun. Let's go back. Okay. Oh. Oh. I hate this. I literally hate this so much. Oh, we messed that up pretty bad. I'm gonna try to dig our tires out. I really hate this feeling, it makes me nauseous. It's only about 25 degrees outside, so it's not the coldest that we've camped in, but this is probably the most snow that we've ever had on the camper in one period. And it doesn't seem like it's stopping anytime soon. <laughs> We are relatively caught up to real time. It is October 12th and we just got six or eight inches of snow. I did not think that it was going to come this fast. I didn't know if we were going to get it at all while we were here in Colorado, but yeah, here. it's here. It is wild to think that just last week you all were seeing the beautiful fall colors we were camping in and now we're in this. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but winter's here. You can probably hear our heater running. We've got about two thirds of a propane tank left and it's probably gonna run all day long. So hopefully it'll last us through the night and through tomorrow. I think it will. At least the camper's nice and warm for us. Come on. Warm in here, at least. Oh, hold on. Dang, sign keeps falling. Drop the sign. <laughs> so the temperature is showing 27 outside, but 59 inside. So I'd say that's pretty good. We've been hanging out inside, reading, enjoying some hot tea and the warmth, but it is still coming down really hard. I mean, look at all the snow piled up on the truck. That is crazy. It was only supposed to be like four or five inches and we're looking at about a foot of snow. I mean, this is gonna be something to clean off. I'm a little bit concerned though because it's been pretty warm the last few days and there's about a foot of snow on the ground which means that there's quite a bit of water underneath it. Everything's starting to melt and it's supposed to get to about 20 degrees tonight so my worry is that the slope up the campground is going to freeze and turn into ice and we're kind of at the bottom um, so we're going to have to climb up out of this campground. So we may go walk around, check it out and see if there's a spot up at the top. Well, I know there's spots at the top because we're the only ones here but we may look at it and see if it's worth moving. That way we don't have to worry about trying to climb out of here tomorrow. We'll see. Are we crazy? 
yeah, I think we're pretty crazy. <laughs> I can't believe how much snow we got. This is wild. Just spent the last 30 minutes or so cleaning all of the snow off the roof of the camper. And I know we're gonna get some comments that say, leave the snow on, it provides insulation. And yes, I do agree with that, but it still shows a couple inches of snow coming. And at some point, I think the extra weight of the foot of snow that was already on the roof counteracts the insulation because if it freezes tonight and comes off in sheets tomorrow while we're driving, that's not gonna be good for anybody. Also, I think we're gonna to try to move spots and get up this hill a little bit. That way we don't have to try to climb this hill tomorrow when it ices over. The low is gonna be like 16 degrees tonight and it's definitely gonna make this a sheet of ice. Snow camping is fun and all, but honestly, when you're debating whether or not you can get out of a spot, and if you can't get out of a spot, do you have enough heat to get you going? Or, you know, how are you gonna get help? Luckily, we're by a major road, so God forbid if anything happened, we can just go outside and flag someone down for some help, but we did sit here for a while debating, looking at the weather, just trying to figure out what our best move is. And after everything, we feel like this is it because it is going to get to 16 degrees. It's not going to stop snowing until, I don't even think till tomorrow morning. So yeah, fingers crossed. I hope we can just move closer towards the entrance by the road. And then I think we'll feel better sleeping tonight and moving in the morning. <sighs> Stressful. scary um i'm gonna try to dig our tires out i really hate this feeling it makes me nauseous <sighs> come on come on come on please 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 okay i hate this i literally hate this so much Obviously, you can see how much we are sliding. I mean, used our leveling blocks, just dug holes. So we claimed a new site. Did I mention that was just really, really not fun? Mm. Ah! All I can say is what I just said to Connor is I'm glad that we didn't hit anything. We came close to trees and these little stumps, but we never hit anything. Thank God. So we went ahead and just backed into a new site. We made it up the first time, but we missed the turn. There's no markings and we couldn't see and we ended up coming back around, which was a really stupid mistake. And as we tried to get back up, it just packed down really tight and it was icy. so. We're gonna at least be fine here for the night. We're pretty level and we're safe. That's all that matters. 
Um, we did not expect this much snow, that's for sure. I think it called for like four inches of snow or so, but I mean, we're looking at over a foot. And uh, thankfully, if we need to charge the batteries, we can run the truck. We should have enough propane. We'll be fine here. Oh, we messed that up pretty bad. It is supposed to be warmer tomorrow. I doubt it's gonna melt very much of this, but if we can get through tomorrow and try it tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening, maybe we'll see something. Problem is we're so high up that it could stick around for quite a while, but if we have to stay here another night or two, we can make do. It's beer time. <laughs> Just something to calm the nerves and I guess warm us up, but it's a cold beer. <laughs> obviously stuck here for at least 24 hours so we're obviously not gonna be driving might as well have a drink we're still a little bit shaky so I'm just gonna hang out in the heat and relax right Barky you did so good have some leftover 11 bean soup that we made last night so we're gonna fire that up because it's gonna be the quickest thing that we can get it's gonna be warm and filling and then we're just gonna find a way to enjoy the rest of the night probably watch a movie maybe read some more of our books and then uh, we'll figure things out tomorrow thank you uh, nice warm meal Good morning guys. We woke up to about 25 degrees this morning, so pretty chilly, but it's showing it should warm up a little bit this afternoon. So we're hoping that'll help with the ice underneath the snow to soften up and help us get out of here. We're gonna try that later today. Fingers crossed we can get out and find a new spot to camp with less snow. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is finally stopped snowing. I think it's supposed to get to about 35 degrees and sunny today. So hopefully we can make another run at trying to get out of this spot. There's a solid 14 inches of snow. We're gonna give it a couple hours to warm up and hopefully help us out a little bit. But for now, this place is pretty magical. I've never loved seeing blue in the sky more in my life. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Since the sun's supposed to be out today, I'm gonna go up and scrape all the snow off of the solar panel, just in case we get stuck here one more night. Our battery's at like 27% and we still have our EcoFlow that's full in the truck. But if we are gonna be stuck here one more night, we might as well try to get some of the power back. Let's go see how bad it is. <laughs> Also, do you see that we're using a dustpan to scrape off the snow? <laughs> um, I don't know what tells you we were unprepared more than everything we're doing. The sun is coming out and Amelia and I are gonna walk this little camp loop and see if going the way that we went yesterday, trying to get this hill is better, or if we try to go reverse and get up the other hill that we went down yesterday. Um, it's kind of slushy underneath our feet, so not entirely sure. It's still probably gonna be like two hours before we try it, but I mean, it's a gorgeous day.
What do you think? Do you want to try it now? Or do you want to wait and let it warm up? Or like... I don't know. I mean, the snow feels really sticky. And there's enough on there. I mean, it grabbed good whenever we drove through it yesterday. It was just going back into our tracks that screwed yeah. us. Yeah. We can try it. And if it... Yeah, we have if to If we stay. stick, we stick. Yeah? Yeah. At least we'll know. Mm. Mm. Tough choices. I don't know. It's like part of me is saying we try it because we did it yesterday and we got through and now we know where the exit is, but it also might be part of me thinking about the campground and to-go food. Well, let me try it. It's not snowing. Yeah. <sighs> If, it's, if we get a little stuck, we get unstuck and come back somewhere. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should we try it? Do we wait till it warms up? The only thing is it's not really warming up. Ooh. Tough choices. We don't ever want our decisions to be one-sided. So Amelia and I decided together that we're gonna get, try and go out this way, the backwards way of the campground. Um, if we get stuck, we would have gotten stuck no matter what, and we've still got enough stuff for one more night, so worst case, we just find another safe bet. But if we make it through, then we're out of the snow, and we'll be good. Either way, here goes nothing. It's gonna be a large time. You ready, baby? Ah, uh, ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, I'm not in the car this time. I'm gonna stay outside, kind of guiding him, so we do not miss the exit this time. And hopefully, hopefully this works. <sighs> That's not a good first sign. This is exciting! Go, buddy, go! He made it this far. Let's hope he kept going. get too excited but bigger trust come on baby let's go that was the worst part right there that was the worst freaking part Whew. now I just gotta keep some momentum a walk. <laughs> I needed some water, but we did it! <laughs> Bye, campground! <laughs> Alright. Oh, you want one too? Time for the rest. <laughs> I think it was easier being out of the car. Yeah, I agree. Good job, driver. Thank you. Just slow and steady. That's all I need. That is insane. Now we're on untouched snow and 
seems like the tires are gripping it relatively well, but we're not free yet. Hardest part is I don't really know where this place goes. Except I see a gate. I gotta pull out and take a breath. Holy crap. I could cry. Good job, truck. Uh, I've got tears for me. That was so many emotions. Scary. I mean, it's our home. If we hit anything, that would have been disastrous. So I'm glad we didn't do that. But we did it. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> My feet are frozen. Frozen solid. If you're still here at the end of this video, please show us some love and hit that subscribe button and join us for all of our crazy truck camper adventures. I don't know that we're going to be planning on getting stuck in a blizzard again anytime soon, but we can't always plan these things. No, I told him earlier I think he's going to have to convince me a little bit extra to do something like this again, but it always makes for a great story and we always love taking you guys along with the good and the bad and thank God this one turned out good. Please let us know in the comments if you like this style of video. We tried to make it a little more raw and show some actual conversations and debates that we were having on whether or not we could even get out of that campground. There was about a, I'd say 60 to 70% chance I thought we were gonna make it, but we would have been fine if we had to stay one more night. The only thing that worried us the most was hitting something and we never did that. So thank you guys for watching. Right now, we're gonna go get to-go food. Hope you have a large day. I'll see you next video. Bye guys.